Hello and welcome to some ARCA here at Michigan here today. We are at Michigan International here on Monday night. And we've got ourselves a 3.9k strength of field race coming up. We've got some of the fast guys that you may be used to seeing, like Larry Pace and uh, Ben White, who we, we will see, uh, we've seen a number of times and is very fast. Uh, we've also got Hermie Sadler in here, which is pretty cool. He just makes the cut for top split as the 19 car. I'll be uh, silently rooting for him. Cool to always see uh, real life drivers from any era be able to participate and be uh, on the track with us. In the past, I raced Kyle Larson here at this exact combo. So apparently this combo brings out all of the, uh, all of the real racers. For now, we are going to head out for qualifying as the P, well, the number four, not the P4. Currently showing P4 because nobody's put a lap in yet, but... Hopefully we get a nice P4 starting spot or better. Try to get a good start. Seems like the uh, fastest speeds might be a little bit slower than they have been in the past. Haven't been able to quite get to my all-time optimal. About a tenth off of that at best, I think. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time flat. But, who knows, maybe the uh, track t uh, temperatures have changed enough. Oh, I got loose. Not great, not great. That's okay, though. Let me do... Fashion out. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit loose, which kind of slowed me down a little bit. Not the worst in the world, but it's okay. Get right on that second lane. One more lap. This should still be an okay lap. Five, five, nine. Could be better. Could be worse. Get real loose there, but we hold on to it for the most part. Kind of got the uh, seam a little bit. Fortunately, it was slower than the first lap, so not really what I wanted to see. That's okay. I'm going to try turning the wheel a little bit less there. I don't think it did us any good, though. So, that's fine. First lap will be the better one. Got into the fives. I'm pretty content with that. Larry Pace up there. Low fives. Okay. So, if we're in the same tenth as Larry Pace... Okay, well... <laughs> we're, still, we're still there for Larry Pace. He might have a better second lap, too, though. But I'm still okay with that. I'm still okay with that time. We are dropping, though. We continue to drop. So it's not quite full throttle here. You kind of have to, you know, uh, maneuver that throttle pedal a little bit. And during the race, I think it's going to be important to get on this seam. Um, find a good example. Yeah, so here in qualifying, I was kind of maybe barely touching the seam, but not much. I think during the race, you'd want to get on there and let the car rotate. So that way you stay off that right front. You see, I kind of did it here, lap two. And it gets it loose, but that's what we want. Get the car looser and uh, get it on the right rear, so that way we're not burning up the right front and getting tight later. If we can strategically use that seam to our advantage, get the car rotating with that rather than the steering wheel, then we should be able to keep some speed later in the race. And uh, if we're able to you know, still keep enough throttle in it without getting overly loose or anything. Should still be pretty fast, too. So that's the plan. Kind of reminds me of Homestead. At least, uh, you know, the turns one and two in Homestead. I know you want to use that lower seam, kind of. These mile and a half lar or larger tracks do kind of be that way. <laughs> At least, uh, I mean, we don't have quite the power of the Gen 4, but at least uh, it does seem we're going to be on the right rear a little bit. It's not a 
complete plow box like last week at Las Vegas was. That was not as fun as I would have hoped. Are we going to get ourselves a P5? It's looking that way right now. Hermie must have spun it or something in, in his attempt. Maybe trying to get on that seam. It's got uh, a little bit too loose, maybe. Or got in the wall. That could have been a 2x as well. P5 is what we get. I'm happy with that. I think I want to be on the inside. Oh my god, why are we facing this direction? Whose idea was this? Certainly wasn't mine. <laughs> it's okay. How do we want to... I guess session last lap? I guess we'll do that. So I don't think you necessarily even want to like save tire, quote unquote, in the traditional way. I think you, I think the plan will be to push for the most part, keep all that momentum, and uh, as I was talking about before, stay on that seam if you can. Avoid the overly loose moments, or uh, you know, missing your angle. Don't enter too shallow either. I think that could be bad for it. We'll try to avoid those things. hopefully have ourselves a good run. Top 10 would be great. Top 5 would be excellent. Those are a couple of good things to shoot for. Had some uh, rough races recently. Had a very fun Gen 4 race at Richmond. At least uh, the first half of the race. It kind of fell apart after that, but it still uh, got ourselves a good result, which is a nice back on track type of race for me. I wasn't sure if we would see maybe Gavin in this one after running the first Gen 4 race of the week. Maybe I thought he'd uh, jump into Arca. Maybe he yeah, made the split the before this, though. We could have. Not sure. I usually take a long time after a race getting thumbnails and stuff, so maybe he jumped out of it quicker and got to do that first race. But no Gavin, unfortunately, but that's okay. We got to do a fun Gen 4 race. And I think this will be a fun race too. We'll be starting on the inside of the three car coming up behind us. Sterling Marlin in the row in front of us on the outside. When did he uh, switch to the Wood Brothers? I didn't hear about that. I think the one and the two will probably have a pretty good brawl up front. They'll probably find a way to pull away and stay away, if I had to guess. Being really precise on hitting their marks, I imagine. They'll uh, not have too much trouble doing that. Looks like a second gear start. Thirty laps. Probably gonna go by pretty quickly. Get ready, going green. Why is he blocking my view? Okay, I swear he was like intentionally blocking my view. I doubt it, but it sure looked like it. We're being taken three wide. Of course we are. Clear that. I guess it's kind of my own fault. I had a terrible start. Car inside. Still there, inside. Still there, inside. I would like to stay out in front of the guy here. It's not happening, though. Stay high to the car. Yeah, maybe. Inside. Clear. You're in fourth position. Okay, guys are definitely put not driving in as hard. 
I'm gonna have to make an adjustment right now. Because if I'm gonna be driving in that much harder than everybody, my right front's gonna suffer. Interesting to see them up front not using that scene. I thought that was going to be the way to do it. Hmm. I'm not doing it wrong. Trying to turn the wheel as little as possible. Two all the way up by the wall up there. And that's what I think I want to do. Try to straddle that seam a little bit. It's not really turning as much as I thought it would though. The 14 in front of us. Not quite to him yet. Getting loose, we'll take that uh, opportunity. Go on his inside. It's gonna be pinned right here. It's only so far he can go forward with that. Oh boy. Lifted off a lot more than I thought I was going to need to there. I even got the brakes a little bit. Almost got on the back of the two. For three wide. Hold your line. Still hold. Right side, two wide, outside. And yeah, maneuver that Stay one. Low. There is a car on the high side. Six being very aggressive. He's just desperate to be three wide, apparently. Still there, hold your line. Six plus. Go low. This continuity, what does that mean? I'm going to lab. Am I blinking? I hope I'm not blinking. At least the lap counted. That's what matters, I guess. Okay, that was a bit of a loose moment or something for the guy up there. It's sliding hard on the outside and he's gonna get it. Leave a lane up there because Mike's charging. Still there. Keep right. Keep 
Drive. Oh boy, this is close racing. Not much room to give. Guys are getting runs on the outside. But I do worry that would be bad on the right front if I did that too much. Oh my gosh, taking it three wide. Of course someone's doing that. Hang no room whatsoever. Well, my lane, even if it's three wide. Man, I guess you want to be on that uh, outside line if you want to make a pass. That's what I'm learning, I guess. It's uh, kind of making their way around me by being more aggressive. Oh boy. So now the seven's on our inside. Oh, he sounds so close out there. Or down there, I guess. I don't want to be on his outside. I don't think they'll be ready for that three wide. A bit of a run on the seven, not much though. Clear inside. Seven clears us. Really what I wanted. Still not to halfway though. We could start seeing some tire fall off. Car out the next car is there. I didn't plan for this to be three wide. Mike's gonna hit me. Expected me to go to the apron, and now we're broken. Cool. Are we broken? Yeah, car's broken. I don't know, maybe he got pushed to... God damn it. Maybe he got pushed by the person on his outside, but... I have no obligation to go to the apron there. I didn't want to, because I don't know if I'm going to get pinned. So now our car's broken. And the race is over for us. Gotta make sure we don't blow up now. Excellent. Gotta drive on the outside now. Okay, cuts that close. We're gonna finish last. Inside. Squeak. Still there. Clear. <sighs> Guy behind me got pinned. It's Hermie Sadler. I think. Two 
No, Hermie Sadler did the pinning. I knew he was into wrestling. Now he's pinning people on the racetrack. Wow, look, we are now in last. That's just freaking great. Super cool. And watch as we go from having a run to have him run away from me. Man, it's crazy how uh, how little power these things have whenever you go from the Gen 4 to this, huh? Man. Well, there's nothing interesting to do anymore. We're just going to watch them drive away. So, Great stuff. Super cool and fun. They could wreck, I guess. Maybe uh, we'll get some spots from that. Uh, who got spun to the inside? The number seven's 40 seconds behind us. He must have been the one that did. We'll see exactly what it looked like later, but... I know what it's looking like from my cockpit, and it's not looking too good. You there. Hold your brakes, God. You idiot. Oh, that was close. 17th place. Yeah, he kind of came up. 15th. I tried. I don't know. Oh, boy. I almost slides up into my path. Get by it, though. Fucking path on it. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get some spots back. It looked like they were ready to wreck some more, so... I'm getting really tight now because with even less power, it's harder to drive it off the right rear. I feel like I'm doing terrible things to the right front now. Got in left to go now. P16. Looks like we should be able to hold off everybody behind, though, like that 9. He seems to have damage as well, so we'll be able to keep in front of him. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.8 seconds. At least it won't be as bad as it was going to be. Not quite dead last, but still not doing very good. Well, I'm sorry, this turned boring. I wish it hadn't. We were racing up there right near the front. Who knows how the tires would have evolved. I don't know if maybe the 1 and 2 battling for the top spot. Maybe they could have uh, lost some speed. Probably not, but now we'll never know. Right in the seam now. Anybody else want to wreck? Anybody else? Any takers? I assume we'll probably get uh, some more happening at the end of the race. Probably someone pushing a little bit too hard, getting into somebody. That could definitely happen. Will it be enough for us to catch him, though? 
all the way back here. That remains to be seen. Car's not blowing up, that's good. Not even really a concern, it looks like. Seemed to be okay. Just doing the opposite of hot lapping right now, I guess cold lapping. Six to go. You guys can wreck some more. It's okay. I give you permission. This stinks. I'll probably have to do this again on my own time, because I think this could be really fun if uh, I actually have people to race and my engine isn't damaged. Judging by how slow I'm going, I think I definitely do have engine damage, not just aero. Definitely seems like I'm down on power. It's interesting, they're not really like crazy far away. I mean, the guy ahead of me is still only like three seconds up. That's not like all that bad. Considering how slow I am on the straightaways. Doing my best here. With my crumpled tin can. Really stinks to get another 4x, trying to get back to 4.9 A license. I care about that more than I rating, but that's going to go down too. winning Larry Pace that's not shocking although the two I'm sure is probably still gonna have uh, something for him or at least try still only a tenth back at least they're not lapping us three more laps of Empty, boring track to go. Okay, I still have permission to wreck. Any time now. Make sure you make it a good one, or else I might not be able to bring them this, this sad little buggy around the corner and past you before you get going and probably have a nice snack in between. Grill up some burgers, have dinner and then get going again and I'll probably show up about an hour later after that. Two laps remaining. That lap time was 42.3. This is our uh, back marker simulator. It really must stink. What are you doing, Seven? Freebies? Seven? Isn't he behind me? He is. Interesting. He's apparently causing annoyance in the pack. At least I'm not doing that. One flag. One more left to go. Oh my god, the car's not turning anymore. Let's get this thing home. We got one more lap to go. And not having as much power in an already low powered vehicle. Not very useful in getting the thing to drive on the right rear. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 5.7 seconds. No freebies, it looks like. So I guess it'll be a P16 for me. Guess I gotta get some more practice. Practice knowing to go to the apron on the straightaway. Even though I don't actually have to do that. Up high. Get me out of this thing. 
bring it back to the pit. We're going. Son of a gun to pass. Yeah, 62. Who is that guy? We'll see what happened. Maybe it didn't look how I thought it did. Oh, why did I think the three was Mike? Mike was back here. I don't. For some reason, I thought the three was Mike. Huh. Weird. No, that was this other guy. Kind of turns down into me. And then he comes up and gets the seven. Comes down into me. Yeah, just like I'm not there. Sure worked out for him, though. Oh wow, that was the first thing that happened too, all the way on lap 14. He just came out of nowhere, the 7 did. I, there's no way I could have reacted to that. And the 10's gonna blink. 19. The 9 way too far off the wall, gonna hook the 16. Here's where we get some of our spots back. So you're not going to say anything about coming down and getting me. Seven not going to the wall. Probably mad that the three ruined his day. Three will just push him. I keep expecting the 10 to do something other than blink. Hermie's blinking. Fix that internet, Hermie. <laughs> 11 up into the wall. Seven. Coming up and getting the three. I don't agree with any of this. I don't care if the three took you out. There's no reason you need to be a danger for other people that had nothing to do with it. He's pretty clearly just harassing the three. Ten still blinking, and then after the race... Don't know what the three is doing. The three have issues? Like... He's angry at the 15, even though the three wrecked me? You don't see me having a tantrum. 15. Dang. So, that was just miscommunication, it looks like. As I think the 15 tried to go out, up at the same time the 3 did. It just gets into the back of them. I mean, anyone could see that that was an accident, I feel like. But no, the 3 is going to pouty face. Make a scene, completely neglecting the fact that he wrecked me and another person this race. So I'm not thrilled with him, but whatever. I'm not going to poop my diaper over it. That'll be it for this ARCA race. Uh, stunk. Stinky. It was really fun up until then. or It was really intense, that's for sure. We were running up here. Probably could have mixed it up in the top five. I think we probably had that pretty well. I mean, we fell off a little bit, but... I felt like we were maybe saving the right front. I don't know. We'll never know. But that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Sorry it was a little boring at the end, but that's racing. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.